going on there YouTube? Welcome back to Chop Toys. Very special truck today. What I've got here is a very near mint. It's either a 54 or a 55 Tonka tow truck. This were the first year of the scale Ford cabs. They went from the cab over style to the actual Ford pickup look. And um, there's really no way to tell the 54 and the 55s apart. They were the same both years. They have the same stickers and the same features and everything, which we'll go over here in a minute. But uh, I did pay quite a bit for this truck, and these are very hard to find, especially in this kind of good condition. This place I've been buying these, um, they kind of, they're not restorations, they're kind of preservations. So it's been uh, taken apart at some point. All the chrome has been polished, the wheels are polished, the grill's polished. Um, the body looks like it's even been waxed and buffed. It's super shiny. The red on it is just gleaming. And um, in some cases, like it looks like here on the side of the bed, these may be new decals. These look original. And um, they may actually have been clear coated over to protect it even further and give it a shine. Somebody spent a little time on this truck and some of the ones we have coming up in the coming weeks for the channel. But. Um, I don't think it takes away from it at all. It still has that original patina and it's going to make it last longer and hold its value longer. And uh, yeah, the tires have been uh, like, I can tell they did what I used to do when I would do a restoration. They have been soaked in armor all for an extended period of time. Really brings back life to that rubber and these don't have much wear. I'll show you that here in a minute as well. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so 54, 55, again, the first years of the Ford cabs. They look like the 53, 54, 55 trucks. Um, no rivets. The bumper and grill are one piece stamped and uh, plated. These have been pretty well polished. And the headlights are actual uh, plated buttons. They're almost like metal snap buttons. Almost like the quality of something you would find on clothing. And uh, you tell these are original. They've got some dings and some little dents in them. A little bit of pitting, but they've polished up really nice, and it's very straight. Um, you know, that nice traditional Ford look. Just really, really good looking truck. And they only had this, this grill and headlight set up for 54 and 55. 56 goes to the more realistic two-piece with the riveted bumper and the actual Ford-shaped grill with yellow plastic headlights and stuff. Trying to bring a little bit more detail to it and more components into the mix. Driver's side, we've got a little bit of paint scratch here. Um, nothing really that bad. Hubcaps are almost perfect looking. Tires are almost perfect looking. It's a really, really nice truck. Um, the stickers on the bed has M&M &M towing or service truck. And that was for Mount Minnesota where these were made for the majority of the life of Tonka brand. And, uh, yeah, it's, well, you don't see that as often. Most of the time you see a Tonka tow truck, it's a 50, 58 to 61, and they all have a AA. As at some point in 55, I believe it was, they actually had, they put AAA. You know, they're like, oh, we'll just use something people know. And apparently AAA said, uh, no, it's our name. You can't use that. So they just made it AA. <laughs> so it was a AA service truck. But the original older runs and even on the cab overs with the tow bed, which this is the same tow bed that the actual cab over trucks had, they just repurposed it and fit it with these new style cabs. They had the M&M &M logo on it. Um, you tell the 54, 55s and the 56, even though they had a different grill, they still had a sloped A-pillar. 57 would be changed to mimic the 56 Ford that where they had a straight up and down A-pillar and more of a wraparound windshield. And then 58, of course, it would go to the square bodies and completely change from these big fender trucks. Um, really good stance. These seem like they set up a little bit in the back. I don't know if they really do. It's just the way the beds make them look. All the tow trucks look like they've got a little rake to them. But uh, part, of, part of the thing I like about the tow trucks, they just look, look pretty cool. Looking in the back of the bed, um, everything on this appears to be original paint. Like I said, it may have been clear coated over at some point in its life. Um, the boom is a little bit different. The same boom that they used in the 50, the later 50s, 58s and up. But on those, they've added light bar and supports that go out to the boom. Um, all the crank and everything on here look 
original. It's got a wooden spool up there for the chain. Can't say for sure if the chain's original. The chain does look nice. It's not brand new, but it does look pretty nice. So it, it may have been replaced at some point as well. But again, it's not a not a big deal. Um, it's that kind of stuff. It's almost expected to have been replaced at some point. You'll see some of these that have yarn for a string. You know, some little kid lost the chain and mom fixed it for him and stuff like that. So pretty uh, pretty neat. If you can see here, there's a hole in the bed on one side only and I don't know what that is for I've had some like that before um, the 58s and up have the like a almost a roll bar with lights on it and uh, they have a mount for that they have holes made into the bed but these earlier ones they have an extra hole there and there's nothing on it and I have not never really tried to figure out what that was I'm kinda curious but um, yeah here you can see a little bit maybe I'm not sure how the lighting is tires still have high ridge in the center they have seen very little use but they are pretty hard I mean it, there's no way around it this is 60 year old truck 64 year old truck it's uh they're hard as a rock but they have very very little use on them when they were new Back around this side you see got a little bit of, of paint chipping here on the bed but uh not a big deal this this is a I would give this truck a nine and a half out of ten it's pretty much as good as it's going to get these days, short of something that's been completely restored, and I won't hold that to the same value as an original truck. Even though this one's been modified a little bit, it's a good solid 9. I you know, bend the rules and make it a 9.5 because I, I really like the look of it. It's got the perfect patina. It looks almost new compared to every other one out there, but it's still got that little evidence on it that it's original paint. And more evidence to that is how it looks underneath. This truck is nice enough. I, I put something down before I flipped it over on its side. Um, underneath, you can see it's kind of dull red, but it's got a nice, even, original-looking coat. Um, all the tabs and stuff you can see have been bent out a little bit, which is another sign that to me that maybe somebody had taken it apart and uh, protected the paint somehow. Um, yeah, tires. You can see the ridges, even the insert inner tires on the rear. They look fantastic. They've been very heavily armor all You can feel the slip on them. A little bit slimy, but uh, it makes them show very well. Axles are perfectly straight. No issues there. They could, uh, you know, they got a little bit of surface rust on them, but no problems at all with that. I absolutely love this truck. This is going to be one of the nicer trucks in my collection now. Um, I've got a near mint original 57, just standard blue pickup. And I, I did actually find, I got that from a similar place where I got this. I found the price on it. I only paid 150 bucks for that blue truck. And it's uh, worth a lot more than that nowadays. So I'm pretty excited. I've only had it for about six or seven years. Um, I did, actually, while I was doing this, I found my old Tonka price guide here. I'm not sure what year this came out. These were written by Don and Barb DeSaul. If you know anything about these... Desaul made, he pretty much was Tonka from the 90s on. He took it upon himself to catalog and price guides and collect every Tonka truck, every rare oddity, every little thing. And he's put together these price guides. And there's two versions. I have the other one somewhere. I can't seem to find it. But I think these, last one of these I saw on eBay was selling for almost 100 bucks, And I, I couldn't believe that. Um... Twenty-two ninety-five on there. I got this actually at a one of those half-price books kind of stores for like eight dollars back in like two thousand one, two thousand two. But uh, yeah, it's got everything. It's got all these little oddball. I mean, boat and a trailer, the corral and horse pin kit that was separate. Every little odd and in every private label truck, which is are really rare, like these Allied van trucks that had something specific on it that one says kansas city there's one for these for sale at an antique store locally and it has a local dallas moving company logo on it but uh i got this out just to verify the year because i couldn't remember if these were 54 or 56. they've got a category in here just for tow trucks i can find it again and th remember this price guide is nearly 20 years old so we've got a picture of a 55 wrecker and a picture of a 54 wrecker and they look identical you read the little thing here and it talks about them it says they're the same 
So let's do the 50, this is 104, 105. We'll go back here and look at the price on it. 54, page 54, oh, 104, my bad. I got the years mixed up. 104 bottom price. And this is good, excellent mint. 175, 350, 550. And these are 20 year old prices. So if it's 55, they're the same. So they're, they're not worth anything different. I got this truck for 160 plus shipping, but I got it with another truck that you'll see in an upcoming video. So I feel like I, I got a pretty good deal on it. When I see something like this that, you know, it's worth the money to me, this is something I've never actually had. I've had hundreds of Tonka trucks over the last 20 years, and this is one I've never had. I've only seen a couple in person, and uh, this is much nicer than all of those. So I feel like I got a fair deal. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I gotta go find, I, I've gotta make some more shelf space for these guys because I'm, I'm slowly outgrowing my living room area. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate all the positive feedback we're getting on the Tonka trucks. I know I'm not really chopping up a whole lot right now. We're, I'm getting on this kick with, with restorations and just mint original trucks. I just love the original finish, the original patinas, and really nice pieces like this. And um, I've been fortunate enough lately where I could afford to buy a few trucks here and there. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You get a little bit of money back from all these annoying ads in these videos. And it helps support the channel and helps buy new stuff to show you. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and helping save these old trucks. I'll see you on the next video.